Looks abandoned. Spooky. Just gotta take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on.
This is it then. Better call Sykes. Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily, and then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. as an emergency exit port has been declared a failure. Despite a 25% success rate, the decision has been made to discontinue research. One in four test subjects made the trip back successfully. The other three simply ceased to be. We believe that the other 75% have been lost in an uncharted sublevel of STEM. A dream within a dream from which there is no known way to return. Due to the number of unknown factors, the experiment has been abandoned. 25% chance of success? I'm not gonna risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky. <laughs> Kidman, you there? Always. 
My family was all I had. All I ever wanted. And it was taken away from me. Maybe when this is all over, you can have it back. What about you? I'm sure being undercover all these years affected your family life. <laughs> what family? I never had one. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Damn. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. I got over it a long time ago. Just be happy that you had people that cared about you in the first place. Hopefully they still care about me. Let's work on a way for you to find out, okay? Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? I never felt the same again after getting out of Beacon. Well, let's hope your second experience in STEM is easier to get over. I'm not sure about that. The last time I could tell myself that it was all a nightmare. I can't do that this time. <sighs> I knew what I was getting into when I went in that tub. At least there won't be a systematic campaign to make you think you're crazy when you get out this time. You mean if I get out? Let's assume you will. Even if I do, STEM has a way of sticking inside you, of burrowing its way into your mind. You're better prepared this time. Keep your eyes on the goal. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks, Kidman. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? Thinking about the fire. Everything I believed after that was a lie. Lily wasn't dead. And Myra wasn't crazy. I know it's been traumatic, Sebastian. But think of this as an opportunity. People who lose their loved ones don't get second chances like this. I wouldn't have needed a second chance if Mobius hadn't messed with my life. You can't change the past, but you can start over this time. You should take advantage of that. I will. If I can just save them and make it out of here alive. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. Myra was right all along. I should have listened to her, but her theories seem so unbelievable. Unbelievable. But all true. Yeah. And crazier than I could have ever imagined. The truth is supposed to set you free. Why do I feel so trapped by it? Because ignorance is bliss. Once you learn what's happening behind the curtain, you can never go back. That's what happened to Myra. She was a damn good detective. Better than I ever was. She went searching for the truth and it trapped her too. This is your chance to free yourself. All of you. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. I've been a mess for so long. Lost years of my life after Beacon and losing my family. You should have thanked me when I found you instead of waving your gun in my face. Yeah, well... It seemed like a good idea at the time. I was still a little drunk. Sorry about that. Don't apologize. I would have done the same thing in your shoes. The past is the past. It's time to make a new future. I like that attitude, Sebastian. Don't let the bastards grind you down. I won't. I'm gonna grind them down. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. 
That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Kidman. Yes, Sebastian? What are you thinking about? Lily. Everything that's happening in here is because of her. Everyone wants her. Like she's just some object to be owned. She's the real victim here. Poor thing doesn't know what it's like to live a normal life. All these years with Mobius have probably destroyed her innocence. She's still a sweet little girl. I hope so. Her youth was stolen from her. She didn't get a chance to go to school. To have friends. All the birthdays and holidays she missed. It's heartbreaking to think of what she's been through. Lily was always so precocious, so smart and observant. She had this way of looking at you, where you knew that she understood you. Not just what you were saying, but what you were feeling, too. I always knew she was special. But I thought it was just because she was my daughter. Lily is special. She was found because of her off-the-chart scores on her standardized tests. I keep referring to her in the past tense. It still doesn't seem real to me that she's alive. And in here. She is. But you've got to save her before you can start to rebuild your relationship. I'm here to help. Just let me know what I can do for you. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads? Who decided it was something anyone needed? I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for his own twisted reasons. But Mobius saw potential in the technology. Potential to enslave everybody, you mean? Better than having it in the hands of a psycho. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. No goodies for me this time, huh? What is it? 
You want me to follow you? What? You want me to sit in the chair? Congratulations, Sebastian. You've almost completed the inner journey that you began so long ago. You have faced down your own demons. You have risked great harm to emerge triumphant. But there is still a memory that you've refused to confront. What do you mean? Here. This will help you. Joseph. all this time there's something we've never talked about sounds ominous what is it not what who joseph right i know that you respected joseph and that he felt the same way towards you i never had the opportunity to make amends about that things were confusing after beacon i should have tried to get answers about what happened i mean i know what happened don't worry, I can't fault you for what you did. But I still blame myself for his death. You don't have to do that, Sebastian. Why not? You'd prefer that I blame you? You're the one who actually killed him. No, I didn't. I saw you shoot him, Kidman. I know you did, but... But what? Joseph isn't dead. What? Are you... No. It can't. What happened to him? Where is he? That's a long story. And a conversation for another time. When we're both safe. Just know that you don't have to blame yourself for his death anymore. I've gotta go, Sebastian. Let's finish this and we can talk later. Yeah. You bet we're gonna talk later. Thanks, Kitty. Hotel's clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweaks? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. I'm sending you the coordinates. Well, here it is. What is it? It's a portable field stabilizer. O'Neill must have been working on it before Theodore changed him. It creates a small area of stabilization that should keep the fire away. How small? Its circumference is about as big as a safe house. Big enough to protect me. Good. How's it work? That's the tough part. It's a prototype, so it's a little temperamental. I have to operate it. 
Last thing you want is for it to go on the fritz while you're in a wall of flame. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. So is staying here if you can't get inside. Besides, I'm sick of hiding. The only way we're going to get through this is if we work together. It's the only way to save Lily. And what if you need emergency psychoanalysis? Who's going to help you then? You know just what to say to convince me, Hoffman. Of course I do. I'm the team psychologist. That you are. You might want to prepare for this. Let me know when you're ready to go. Are you ready, Sebastian? All right, Hoffman. Let's do this. Okay. Lead the way. I'll have to carry and operate it from here. It should protect us from the fire, but it won't stop those things in there from trying to kill us. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Here goes nothing. It's working! Just make sure to stay inside the dome. Come on! I can't see anything through these flames. Just keep an eye out for those things and follow me. I know the way. Another one. Watch your back, Hoffman. That's what you're here for! Good thing. They're everywhere. <laughs> wants to keep us out. Good. That means he's afraid. Don't stop. 
stop now. We're almost there. Hold on. There's something wrong with the stabilizer. Can you fix it? That was close. I told you it was temperamental! Are you regretting this yet? This is my chance to make up for what I did to Lily. And all the others I helped put in STEM. So no, I don't regret it. Are you regretting this yet? This is my chance to make up for what I did to Lily. And all the others I helped put in STEM. So no, I don't regret it. is burning. Gotta go now. 